Hi, this is the third in a series of short videos from Informed Choice Limited in support of Financial Planning Week. My name is Nick Bamford, I'm Executive Director at Informed Choice. And my name is Andrew Nelligan and I'm Financial Planning Director. Nick, we want to talk today about planning when you've got young families. Not something, a uh, situation I'm in, but I know you've had a uh, young family now, you've got grandchildren. So what tips do you recommend that people with young families should be thinking about now? Well, it does indeed seem a long time ago when, when I had a young family, but I guess the obvious things to think about there will be if you've got a family, you've got responsibilities and you ought to take them seriously. So things like making sure you've got adequate insurance protection in place. Uh, nobody really likes to think too much about this, but what if one of the parents were to die? Um, is there sufficient life assurance cover to secure the financial future for the children and indeed the surviving spouse? Um, what if you were unable to work as a result of illness or disability? You'd probably want to have at least some income coming in in order to pay all the family bills. And maybe because the medical profession these days is so good at keeping people alive, you might even consider critical illness cover. So then in the event of the diagnosis of a, a condition covered by the policy, you know, there was a lump sum available to protect the family. Fantastic. So those who've put that in place or they might have it through their employer, through their employee benefits, what should they uh, then be thinking about, perhaps long-term planning for the children? Well, that's a good point. Sometimes it's not about doing that for yourself. You may well be fortunate enough to work for an employer who's put some of those protections in place for you. Um, I'd follow that one through, though, and say once you've got the insurance protection in place, make sure that in the event of a catastrophe, one of you dying, um, that your wishes are going to be followed through after your death. So, you know, take a trip to a local competent solicitor and get him or her to draw up suitable wills, probably even lasting powers of attorney, which aren't just about old age, but about having somebody available to make those decisions for you. Fantastic. And then if we want to think about children uh, providing a deposit for a house or some other investments, perhaps school fees planning, any tips there? Yeah, well, it's, I guess in some respects a real pity the government made, made those rule changes as far as child trust funds are concerned, but they've introduced junior ISIS since then. Saving for the future, it's not an easy thing for any family to do with the costs associated with having a young family, but um, saving for the future so that perhaps the children don't take on quite so much debt when they go through university or have have a deposit available for a house. Lots of things to think about if you've got a young family. So in summary, think about making sure you have adequate life assurance and income protection in place. Then you can think about uh, having a will, using a competent solicitor, and then long-term uh, investment planning to cover things like school fees and a deposit for a house or university costs. Thank you.